Welcome, 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 welcome. I'm going to teach you how to play that. So these are some Neo Soul guitar inspired chords. Uh, after today's lesson, you're going to be able to play a minor ninth chord, a D7 suspended chord, a diminished seventh chord, and two different voicings of a major seven. So starting with the minor ninth chord, it's an A minor ninth, and the way we're going to play it today, well, the way that I play it, um, is with my thumb. So starting from the low E, we're going to play the fifth fret with our thumb. We're going to mute that A string with the rest of our thumb. And then we're going to play the 5th fret on the next three strings. So 5th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret. And then we're going to play the 7th fret on the high E. That's a minor ninth chord. You can use any other variation of fingers that uh, makes it more comfortable for you. It's also pretty common to play it with the 2nd finger um, playing the lower E. And then barring with this finger. I find that uncomfortable. I've always played with my thumb. So... There's the minor ninth chord, 5th fret, dead string, 5th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret. Awesome. So moving on to the suspended uh, D7. So basically all we need to do is get rid of our thumb, move our first finger up, and we've got the next chord. That's literally it. So it just goes 5th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret, starting from the A string. 5th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret, 5th fret, 7th fret. So those two chords together are... Nice. So just a whole lot of 5th fret and 7th fret in those first two chords. Now we're going to move on to a chord that's a little more tricky. This is a, a technically the same chord, but inverted. So what I mean by that, there's two of the same chords. The shape doesn't change, your hand just moves up 3 frets. So let's figure out that shape. So starting from the A string, second from the top if you forgot, or bottom, depending on how you want to think about it. But we're going to go 6th fret on the A string with our 2nd finger, 7th fret on the D string with our 3rd finger, 5th fret with our 1st finger on the G string, and then 7th fret with our pinky on the B string. That's the shape of the diminished 7th. So now you just slide that up 3 frets. So to the ninth fret, and that happens on one beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's that's about it. Just practice that. So all together, including the first two chords, we've got one, two, three, four. Um, a quick tip for getting the slide accurate: don't think about sliding each individual finger up three frets because that's just a nightmare. Just get used to the shape, and then think about sliding your whole hand. I like to think about the back of the guitar in this instance, because it's a lot easier to think about it, slide from here to here, than it is from there to there. It's a bit of a psychology thing, but just slide your whole arm. Cool. So now we're going to go on to the first major 7 chord, or the first voicing of a major 7, and it's going to be a G. So we're going to start with our pinky on the A string at the 10th fret. And then we're going to play the 9th fret on the next string down with our ring finger, our 3rd finger. And then we're just going to bar the next 3 strings on the 7th fret with our 1st finger. And there you go. G major 7. Uh, let's keep moving along after that. So the last chord of the chord progression is a C major 7, which you might already know because it's quite common. But if you don't, here it is anyway. Starting from the A string with our 1st finger. We're going to play the 3rd fret, and then we're going to play the 5th fret with our ring finger on the next string down, the 4th fret with our 2nd finger on the next string down, and uh, the 5th fret with our pinky on the next string down. Um, you can buy your 1st finger and play the 3rd fret on the high E. I sometimes do that, sometimes don't, depends. Um, but yeah, that's the whole chord progression. Definitely. If you can't play these chords, it's the first time that you've ever learnt them. Spend a bit of time with each one individually. Um, that one might be tricky for, for depending if you've never done a diminished chord before.
before, but um, yeah, once you start to get them under your finger, then slowly start stringing the chords together. And before you know it, you'll be able to play it. I'll just give you the harmonic rhythm, which is the timing, so I'll count it out loud without a metronome because I'm lazy. But here we go, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we loop one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, enjoy playing some Neo Soul guitar chords. Uh, it's in the key of G. So your E minor licks will work. <laughs> um, yeah. I think that's about it.